Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for our Earl and Grat new player playthrough series with a focus on animal husbandry. So today, or last episode, we finished planting grass in field 20 and 19 in preparation for our silage production. So we're going to focus on grass silage and we're also going to place down the cow barn today, probably in this area here in field 20. It's nice and flat, um, and it's an ideal, ideal area for that purpose. So, what I'm going to do is get this guy underway and get some grass planted in uh, field 18. So we'll get that get that completed as well while we're attending to the the, the cow barn build. And so we're still on the first in-game day. So I'll just line this guy up. So I'm not worried about planting, uh, harvesting the crop that's already here. I just want to make way for grass 100%. So I'm a higher worker there. Now the fields require rolling at this stage. So I've got lime turned off, ploughing turned off, uh, weeds turned off. Just to sort of, that's basically how I run all my all my games. But yeah, you may want to add some extra elements in but that's entirely up to you uh, all right so the reason why I chose field 20 is basically because it is nice and square and very flat like you, we just walk around the area here you can sort of see extremely extremely flat so flat terrain is ideal for building buildings on so let's um have a bit of a play around with cow barn location and what that's going to look like. So I'm going to get off the field, come stand over here, jump into the build mode, and let's have a bit of an aerial view. So the plan is basically this will be the entrance to the farm just here. We'll have grass silage in this field, we'll have grass silage in this field, and we'll have grass in this field. So the benefit of grass is obviously you plant it once, you cut it, it regrows. It doesn't need to be re continually replanted, so you can harvest it continually. Um, and it just reduces your cost overall because you need less equipment. You basically plant it once and then it's, it grows back over and over again. So that's the first reason. Second reason is because cows in particular need silage, TMR and hay, I believe, in order to... Um, function optimally so kind of makes sense that we can because you can get chaff right so forage harvester corn for example you can produce uh, chaff which will give you more yield but you have to replant the corn you have to go through that entire process so it's just a bit of a time saver with the grass so I think what, what I've settled on is the large cow barn So you can see there, we're getting a little bit of a terraforming notice. So it's 518,500 to buy. So the additional cost there is just to flatten out the area a little bit. Now one thing you want to be careful of when you place these down is where your triggers are. So if I zoom in here, so the feed trigger is on the inside. So you can see that there, the little overloading trailer. So that's where the cows get their food. Uh, the pen or pasture is at the front. Then over to the, this is really difficult to see. On the left, we've got the, where it looks like the milk comes out. And then the animal, animal dialogue is on the lower left of the building. So if I zoom out and then the slurry, I think is there on the right. Now I just got to figure out the best orientation for this because what I don't want to do is place this down and then realize I've stuffed up my access points and my ability to get in and out. So let's have a look. I wish this built, this camera would zoom out a little bit more. That'd be really helpful. So I need to have access either side for the slurry and the milk and I also need to have an area where I can place a manure storage area 
Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting setup. So if I go around this way, so I'm gonna turn snapping on. So what snapping does is it gets it to predetermined angles. So that's 90 degrees. So it's basically parallel with our little road here, which is ideal, and it will be parallel, I believe, with the edge of this field, if I'm not mistaken. So we have a nice square efficient sort of setup. So uh, where do we put this? This is going to be the question. So because you've got to think about truck access and long-term access for productions. So like I'm going to be getting a milk tr milk truck in here at some stage potentially. And if I want to put down a second cow barn. I want to give myself plenty of room, so uh, maybe this way. So what? So we've got out the back. There's nothing. The reason why I like using fields for this purpose is because it gives you a good sort of outline of where where your uh, access points and such might be. So slurry production. That's where your feed's going to go through. I mean, ideally, probably in the middle of this field, because then I would not going to definitely not going to have an issue with access points. So I've got a nice little pathway behind the shed to drive around it. I've got nice easy access for the slurry pit, and then. Either or, so I can probably. What I might do is I'm going to go probably in the middle here. Because the other thing too is you play if you place this down and you stuff it up, you basically and you have to sell the building. You'll basically be able to sell it for half of what you paid for it, which is really not good. Especially when you're trying to play in a sort of somewhat authentic way, and you don't have unlimited money. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking I'm liking that position. And then because you can, you've got silo extension, so you've got room for a slurry pit. So I reckon I'll put the slurry pit maybe on the top left. And then a, man a manure bunker possibly on the right here. Or vice versa. So it'll just give me give me an option there. So let's see. I've got a nice access around the back. Probably go a little bit this way. And then what I'll do is I'll texture up the uh, rest of this field later on. Alright, let's make sure this is square. So you best to really take your time with this until you're 100% happy. Because if you stuff this up, like I said, it's going to be with you for a while. Uh, it's, I'm wondering about this terraforming actually. Look, let's just, let's just deal with it and go for it. So I'm going to go large, car, large cow barn right here. Okay, X to place it. Okay, let's go and check it out. So the other benefit too is I've got all this grassed area that I've planted in, in brown. So obviously the field texture is brown. This will all be grass um, in a few more game days. So let's check it out. So what have we got? So this is the slurry. This is the cow area. So obviously we've got no cows currently. This is going to be the access for the food. So I'm glad I left myself a bit of room there. So I can drive in and around and turn around. There's nothing worse than placing a building and then realizing you haven't given yourself enough room to maneuver. So we've got a little ramp to get in. Got the dialogue box so we can buy cows directly from from there, uh, this is, I would say, where the milk comes out, and I think this is, yeah, this is a milk container, so you can see the refrigeration equipment on the back there to keep it cool, it's got a temperature gauge on the front, 3.7 degrees, so milk has to be below 4 degrees, 
for food safety reasons. Uh, what do we got here? This is just another decorative door. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I think that one... There's that one. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's shut that. Cool, so you can see there it's terraformed that little section there. You can see the fence is sloping down. So that may have just been part of how the building is designed. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that placement actually. I'm glad I glad I went through the process of just sort of talking it out. Uh, righto, so we've got no cows currently, so let's check in on our worker. So how's he travelling? So he's done about half the field, which is good. Okay, let's jump into the build mode, get a nice little aerial view. Cool. Alright, now let's have a look at the manure bunker. So if I go to build mode, silos. Manure heap, 4 million litres, 25 grand. Liquid manure tank, 500,000 litres. Uh, bunker silo, bunker silo medium, bunker silo medium. Yeah, so we don't pro probably don't need it to be that big. Then we've got the real big one. Soft, smooth wall bin. So this is obviously just for crops. Now I do have a couple of mods in here that which you may not have. Okay, so we're looking at base game stuff here. So that's the bale storage. Bale and pallet storage. Okay, interesting. Okay, manure heap. Now. This needs to be close to the cow barn however it's not giving me an indication to say that it needs to be so i'm gonna have to because i have had issues before where this has not worked and it's caused me a problem so And then we got the liquid manure tank. So this could easily, very easily go right here. Okay, and then we've got silo extensions. So silo extension. So a second manure heap. For f this will do 4 million litres. Then we've got the large tank, which will do 2.6 million. Supplementary water tank, liquid manure pit extension. Okay, so that's just an underground looking mod. Right, so we're probably not going to worry about manure to begin with. Just because I want to get get things underway with with some cows, and then we'll we'll worry about that later. So pretty cool, um pretty cool setup actually so nice access for the for the food so that's where the food goes in uh, these are the milking machines I believe you don't see them in action at least I don't think so and this will hold what 80 cows I think I think it said before all right let's go in here so let's start filling this up with some cows Now we can <clears throat> we can buy directly from the animal dealer, which is located on the main map, which is uh, over here near field six. So you can buy there, pick them up, transport them over, or you can come to this box here and d deliver them straight away. So you have a couple of different breeds. They all essentially do the same thing. The price difference is where they where they vary. So let's have a look. So 
This breed is used for dairy farming and produces milk cows like grass, hay and TMR. Additionally, they require water. This is a calf. Animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. So this one is... So this is an Angus. These type of cows can be bred for profit and sold. So they don't produce any milk. So I guess what you can do is you can either decide you want to be a dairy farmer or a cattle farmer. I mean, I think I'm just going to go dairy because basically the outputs of slurry, manure, milk can all be sold. So it makes sense that we can make profit off of that. So this is $1,100. So this breed is used for dairy... So it's basically what you're paying for is the, what you're paying for essentially is the age of the animal. So obviously the more animals you have, they produce. So you don't have to, you don't necessarily have to buy 80 to start with. You can buy a bit of a mixture. So depends how much money you want to save really. Uh, additionally, they require water. This reaches breeding age at 18. All right, let's see how much these are going to cost us if we buy 60 of them. So 100 grand for 60 cows, plus 6,000 transport. Um, I think I, I think I am going to go the mature cows, because then that way gives me room to produce. They can naturally produce 20 on their own, which uh, which is good, and then I can start to if I need to, get another cow barn happening. Take the offspring from one barn, move them into the other, which I believe you can do. And I'm sure we'll probably find out through this series anyway. So let's pull the trigger on 60 Holsteins. Holstein, Holstein. And I'm happy to take the transport fee because six grand. Otherwise I have to get a car, trailer, multiple trips. It's just a pain, so. Let's buy those. Okay, so it tells me I've got 60 Holsteins. They're worth $465. Cool. And if we go into the yard here. Cows, baby. So I wonder if there's actually 60 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, it's not 60. Maybe there's some inside hiding. Hey, how are you, buddy? Look at that. Cows! Pretty good details on the animals, really. I mean, they've really upped the ante on how they look and just how they move around the yard. And they obviously sound like cows, too, which is pretty cool. Oh, anyway, enough about that. Uh, Alright, so our worker is still plugging away on our grass field. So we've got a couple of nice big grass fields actually. Very happy with that. Now I've just got to decide whether or not we're going to go a silage bunker. Or silage bales. So let's have a look at productions. Actually, no, the containers, so we don't need a container necessarily because we're not paying for fuel. Uh, tools, we don't necessarily need at this stage. Uh, we are needing to put a farmhouse down at some stage so we can sleep. Uh, a silo, that's what we want. Now, I think if, we're gonna do, if we are going to do silage, I'm just going to use probably the small bunker. And I'll probably set it up, I would say, potentially in this area like that. So I could have two side by side. 
And then if I have another cow barn, probably what I'll do is I will, just for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to buy one at the moment. So with the same one here, I would probably mirror them up like that. So then I've got areas left and right of this of this field to house equipment, do what we need to do. And then that would give me 160 cows, which is a decent amount, so. But in the short term, this is all gonna be grass. I need to put the farmhouse somewhere, so I might put the farmhouse. Could clear a bit of land here, actually. So see if I actually own this little triangular area behind the cow shed, because that would be perfect for a farmhouse, actually. Because it's not being utilized for anything, so let's go have a look. Farmland. Yeah, so we actually own. Should I just jump into the build now because it's quicker to get around? So I can clear out these trees, put a little homestead in. Yeah, that'll be ideal actually. Then we've got access to the road just there on the roundabout, which is great. Uh, we've got the train there, but we don't need to worry about that because. We don't need that access point. We've got access here to the shop. So having the shop literally next door is perfect. And then we've got another path entrance down here. So this is really, really shaping up to be a great location for this farm, I feel. Now just over here is the original farm when you start in new farmer so it's up in the mountains a little bit elevated you got access to all these hills and, and and stuff i mean it is a good little starter farm but for me just this nice flat open area close to the shop in the main town The fact that I've got these fields here I can access straight up, plus these fields over here. It's just gonna it's just gonna reduce my transit time, make it really quick and easy to get what I need back and forth from the farm. Sorry, sunflowers, you had to go. All right, cool. Okay, so well, basically what we need to do is we need to, we really need to clear this um, forest area out actually. So I'm, I'll have to decide whether I'm going to use the Lizard T-Rex 600 to delete these trees straight up. Which I potentially might because I don't want to have to chainsaw and cut these down because it's just not worth it. So what I might do is that might be a job for next episode. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll go through, clear out these trees on the land that we own. So just there, there, down here, we'll clear them out as well. And then we'll be able to put down our farmhouse just in this area here. So that will work out quite well, I think. Let's go say goodbye to the cows for this episode. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode. Um, really appreciate the channel support and for you tuning in. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned, next episode we're going to build our farmhouse over there, cut those trees down, get this grass growing, and then really start cranking out our silage output and get these cows producing. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.